Hey guys, we're here with our inverse leg curl at Empire Fitness Center, which was installed and delivered last week. So this machine is a machine that targets our posterior chain. So hamstrings, calves, and lower back, and our core. So it's an extremely good machine to train our hamstrings. And depending on how we execute it, we can actually replicate both lying leg curls, kneeling leg curls, seated leg curls on this one machine. So important to realize is the weight on the machine will assist you. So the more that is loaded on there, the more it will help you to go through the range of motion. So making it harder will mean removing weight from the loading arm. All right, so to set it up, we've got a few things to consider first. We've got the entire platform here in which our feet will lodge, can move forwards and backwards. It's important that our knees will align exactly with this point right here so that our knee joint moves on the same axis as the weight and the machine does. So the second thing is these uh, ankle pads. I like to put the ankle pads pretty low so that my shins are exactly in line with the platform that we're gonna put, put our knees on because it's a lot more comfortable on the knees. So to get in, I usually put this a little bit lower so I got some room to get in. I put my feet through on both sides and you can see my knees are nicely on that line here, aligned with this. My shins are in a nice, stri nice straight line because this is not set up too high. Otherwise, my knees would be pointing down slightly and all the stress would come on my knee joint and not on the shins and the knees divided. When we're ready to go, you can move it back closer towards you and the height can be set differently as well. For this specific execution, we'll put the chest pad pretty high so we've got it on our chest when we're going down. So we're gonna keep the hips extended for this version. And we're just gonna simply go down until the knees are entirely straight. And then we're gonna go back up. So this replicates a lying leg roll in which the hamstrings get fully shortened. The hamstrings run over both the knee joint and the hip joint. That means that right now they're both extending the hip and uh, flexing the knee at the same time. So they're being targeted on both of those joints. So they're, in, uh, in, they're doing a full contraction to get into this position. Now, obviously, we can train the hamstrings in a different range of motion as well, where we bend the hips more. This is gonna replicate more so either a kneeling leg curl or a bending over or a seated leg curl. We're gonna also be a little bit stronger in this position. This is more ideal towards the end of your workout, while the first version was more ideal in the beginning of your workout when you're still fresh. So we're gonna bend the hips again, put the chest against the chest pad. For this, we need to put it a little bit lower on the slider. And then from here on, we're gonna dive down. Right, until the knees are completely extended. And then we're gonna come back up. As you can see through the range of motion, the angle at my hips, so how far I'm bent, bent forward, is not changing. It's staying consistent through the range of motion. The only angle that we're manipulating is the one at the knees because the hamstrings main function is bending and extending the knee joint. We're gonna always pull hard with our heels up into the pads to engage the hamstrings first over other muscle groups that can assist through the range of motion.